Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you're new to my channel, I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have probably the smallest Costco haul yet. I didn't need much just because I've been going to the grocery store a lot throughout the week, which is something I don't normally do. But since I had been focusing mainly on Costco, there was a lot of small things that I usually get at like um, our local grocery store, Market Street or Walmart that I just hadn't been picking up. So I had been going to the grocery store throughout the week and honestly, you guys, I'm just restocking some of the things that we have ran out of. So yes, yeah, probably like the smallest grocery haul yet on my channel, but that's okay because at least we got food and at least God is blessing us. So let's go ahead and get into this haul. All right, you guys, so the first, we'll start over here. The first thing I got are these organic sable seedless, black seedless grapes. Um, I only got them because this was the only pack that I could find that said organic. So I did go ahead and pick these up. These will be gone by next week, I guarantee you. I couldn't find like healthy tortillas at market sh at Costco, so I did go ahead and just pick up these um these flatbreads for the boys' quesadillas because, like I said, I couldn't find healthy tortillas to um to make the boys' quesadillas. And the good thing about these is that you can tear them in half and use them that way. Okay, and then because, you know, when you go to the grocery store with kids, they want everything. Not to help, not to mention that they had that chick, uh, the chick. They had the people there that stand at the corner and, like, advertise stuff to you. So, this is why we have these because they sold a Bryson on them. So, I had to grab a pack of Lunchables. I don't ever buy these. <laughs> Next thing, you guys, they had... <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember my honey crisp apples that I got last time in my grocery haul, but these ones are ginormo. Like, look at how big they are. Let's see if I can take one out. So yeah, you guys, these these are these ginormo honey crisp apples. So yeah, cost the same, but you got less, but they are bigger. And then the next thing I got, they did finally run out of their organic juices that I got a couple of hauls ago. So I did have to go ahead and restock them on those. Again, 100% organic juice. These are actually cheaper than or the Honest Juices brand and they have more. So I was like, I'll just go with those. And then of course we have this grown beef. And then like I told you guys, it is 85% lean, 15% fat, which we love. And then I picked up our wine. We still have almost a whole bottle left. So I just picked up one bottle this time. And then I've got these Franks in a blanket just because I wanted something different for breakfast. And I thought, well, pigs in a blanket sounds good. So the next thing, like I said, I do have to pick these up every single time I go grocery shopping. They love these things. And since Ethan started going back to school, I've been putting these in his lunch every single day. So we're starting to run through these pretty fast. And then I just noticed the last time I went, but we didn't need chicken that they actually had organic chicken breast. So that's what I picked up this time were these organic chicken breasts. Now you do get less and it does cost the same amount as if you got the big pack, but I'd rather get less and have the quality be better rather than get more and have poor quality. So the next things I got were these milk chocolate almonds because I didn't see these last time. I went to my mom's and noticed that my sister had found these at Costco. So you bet, you bet your bottom dollar that your girl searched Costco for these plain milk chocolate, milk chocolate almonds. And I'm about to snack on some of them too. And then I got these for King because he can't have almonds. So just that way he can feel included. At least they look the same and he'll kind of feel like he's eating the same thing. Next thing I got are these soft and chewy granola bars. And then I got these Cliff Z bars. So I got these to replace their cereal bars just for now anyways, just to see how they do. But I just thought, I don't know, maybe we'd mix it up, but they could still have these for like breakfast or a snack. Just thought we could mix it up. And I won't just give them this. Like I'll give them this with some fruit and like something else and some milk or juice. So for dinner, I did go ahead and pick up this rotisserie chicken. I kind of want to 
open it and sneak a bite just because people always talk about how good Costco's rotisserie chicken is. So yeah, I'm about to just steal a little piece in a minute. My mouth is watering. And then I did go ahead and pick up this big bag of lemons because for whatever reason, we're starting to go through lemons a lot more often. Okay, you guys, so we did get two cases of water as well. I just went ahead and put them in the garage because I told you guys that we do get two cases of water every time I go, regardless of how much water we have at the moment, just to always keep water because I don't know, water. And so, yeah. But I've been slacking on my water intake as well as Brian drinks all of his water at work. So we haven't been going through water as fast. So that's why I didn't keep it in the house. I just took it straight to the garage. But anyways, that is it for today's video, you guys. Sorry it's so small. Sorry it's so short. But I thought that you guys would still like to see it because you guys tell me that you are really, really loving my grocery hauls. So yeah, we'll see what kind of recipes I make with these groceries and so if you don't follow my vlogs and you do want to see or if you don't follow watch my vlogs but you're like interested in cooking videos that's where I do all of my cooking I include at least one recipe every single vlog and my vlogs range from 30 to 40 minutes but yeah there's always at least one cooking recipe in those so I love you guys but always remember that Jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and I will see did I say, already say I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more? If not, there you go. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.